Hello all, this is Alice and here we are with... Yeah, here's the surprise for 100 subs. And it is not pathologic, just as I had teased in the previous video. It is a short game, and it is perfect for spooky season. It also happens to be a game that I learned of thanks to watching another YouTube creator, Pazo64. If you guys understand Spanish, I also wholeheartedly recommend watching his videos. He's funny as heck, and he's always trying and recommending really cool games that you might otherwise not hear about. So, back to the game. It's called The Supper, and yes, it's a horror game, with a very imaginative art style and story, and that I wholeheartedly recommend along with the many other games of its creator, Octavi Navarro. So, without further ado, Alice plays The Supper. And here we are, just as I said, to celebrate our 100 subscribers and a little bit more, because yeah, um, it's not that I am late, because I also wanted to celebrate the spooky scene soon, and I'm also not late for that. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's uh, November already. It's still a spooky season, never mind. But yeah, the supper. A uh, short uh, little game that, uh, nevertheless, still packs quite the punch. that I've played like a thousand times but I still enjoy a lot Shh, Miss Appleton wake up she's so cute oh my god I'm sorry Miss Appleton I know your old bones are tired Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time! <gasps> Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Okay, so yeah. We're picking this. We're picking... Oh, yeah, I forgot. N never mind. Uh, yeah, we're going to pick this too, and there we go. Because yeah, it's pretty dark in here, and it's going to be useful. I know. It's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. And there we go. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. And yeah, we are picking this. Well, uh, I I'm not sure if I said this in the, um, you know, uh, intro, but yeah, as you guys can see, this is definitely a point and click. And yeah, here's our special sauce. Mm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, crawling stomaches. Here they come. Do you think it could be them? Well, we'll see. Okay. And here are the customers. Look! The chest! These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit. Quickly. But yeah, I love the little things uh, in this game that 
well here's this whole atmosphere but it also reminds us uh, it's a point and click and yeah it's it's kind of adorable so but would the gentleman like to start with okay let's see the old man first oh <laughs> look at the pigeon yeah excellent choice pigeon de la Rosé is our chef's speciality And the mind controlling fungus? Oh, spicy red swordfish. A personal favorite. A mouth watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega 3. And at last, the deadly shark. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. Okay, so that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sea cold man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen wall if you have any problem remembering them. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna check first. Because, as you guys can see, there's a recipes list. Recipes du jour. And we check the first one. Which is the easiest? Pigeon à la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon covered with a special sauce. And there we go to get ourselves a wild mm -hmm. pigeon. Okay, let's go outside. And here's our boy pigeon. But we need to get something. No. Because, yeah. By herself, poor Miss Appleton is unable to do so. I mean, look at the... Oh my goodness, look at this in the sea. This is this, this loads of stuff that... Uh, yeah, I've played it a lot, this game. But, man, I've barely noticed until now. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Narrator, please. Okay, but Peter is not going to use this, so we'll try. Maybe we get some... Okay. We get this wet wood, which is going to be very useful now for reasons. Okay, and there we go. I'm sorry, Pigeon. Sorry. And so is uh, Miss Appleton. Okay, there we are. That's the main ingredient for our Pigeon Suprême à la sauce rosée. Now, let's finish the dish. There we are. Okay, yeah. Pigeon, pigeon. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon à la sauce rosé is ready to be served. And there we go. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, monsieur. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Narrator, please. 
Don't worry, they are used to pass out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. And yeah. It, this is in our place and it's technically ours. Okay. There we go. Because yeah, this is going to be useful here. And there we go too. Miss Appleton, please. Mmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Oh yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. And yeah, there's something else here. Oh my goodness! Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 because, yeah, there's a seedling for a um, chili, which is going to be so very good for our spicy red swordfish, but we cannot pick the seedling, we need the chili, and this is... This is one very fast chili. Let's look how it grows. Ta da! Yeah. Hope I don't get demonetized by this sudden display of bare flesh from uh, Miss Appleton. <laughs> that was just a silly, silly, silly joke. But then again, I am extremely silly, so. You guys know me. Okay, so yeah. Looks like the next one we have is the spicy red swordfish. Yeah. As you can see, guys, here is the recipe one blue swordfish tail, add one chili pepper, which we have here, and cover with a special sauce. And where do we have some one swordfish? Ta da! And we mix. Perfect! Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. And there we go. And it looks so cute. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. And bone apple teeth. Bon appétit. <gasps> oh yes, a satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Narrator! Narrator! Please! I was said please stop, but then again. I recognize a kindred spirit when I see it, and man, I must admit that I, I do love some puns. <laughs> do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, love. And she loves. Oh my god, she's. I love her, she's the cutest. And yeah. If you guys remember, the next thing we have to do is the hand and drunk stew. So we have half of it here. And here's not the other half, but it's going to be quite useful. Yeah, he's not hungry, I know. Because we're gonna see the other side of the board. Yeah, don't worry, um, my dear. Oh, a skeleton hand. Let's go. Did 
There we go, there we go. And remember the wax we've taken here and that it's now boiling. Ta-da! And then we go. Perfect! Those are the main ingredients. Now, let's finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. And there we go for the final bone apple teeth. Bon appétit, my cartilaginous friend. Oh. <gasps> ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomaches. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great! Now, let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. And uh, yeah. And now, just look for a moment at the change in scenery. Whoa, man. The waters are suddenly super still. The just look at what happened with the with the ship. Not sure if we if we can check. Uh, no, we, I don't think we can. What happened in the? Nah, sh it would not let. No, it would not let us. But man, it just it looks so good. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Well, there we go. Doom dee doom. Damn fantasy on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of. Here you are. Ah, yeah. So here's the here's the yellow. I had for I had forgotten. Never mind. But yeah, there we go. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. And yeah, here's where we discovered that uh, Miss Appleton was pulling a swimming coat. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. And here we go. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all that you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. When those bees dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that good nugget from them. I want it fair and square. Sanguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in. 
There was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me. Dead? Or alive? I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Sweet <sighs> dreams, indeed. And there it was the punch I said. This game packed. Which, uh, yeah, even after all this time, is just. Whoa. What a game, man. What a game. And. Yeah, I hope you guys like this. And that's. It becomes inaugurated. Um, I mean, it inaugurates uh, the Alice Play Short Games series. Uh, there will be many more of uh, Octavio Navarro's games here, but I will hardly recommend you uh, to try uh, to try them all. And the ones that are not. Uh, uh, for free like this one are like super duper cheap uh, and uh, even if you guys have seen this um, playthrough in its entirety I really really recommend uh, for you to check the game for yourselves because yeah seeing, uh, seeing a playthrough and playing a game uh, it's something that I've realized are two completely different things yeah obviously <laughs> and yeah, play these games, uh, get the soundtracks and the art books. They are super cheap. They're, you're going to help the um, the developer, and I wholeheartedly recommend them all. Thanks, guys, and uh, see you. And here we end the adventures of poor Miss Appleton. Now, that was a lovely and incredibly bittersweet ending, wasn't it? I'm also kinda thankful for not recording my face because, yes, as with every single time I play this game, I got super duper emotional. <sighs> but anyhow, thus it is inaugurated another section of this channel, Alice Play Short Games. Expect more of this in the future. Again, as usual. If you found this video and had no idea of my other stuff, hello again, this is Alice, and I am currently going through every possible iteration of Pathologic available to the public. If you can and haven't already, please subscribe, and if you like this enough to spare some cash my way, here's a link to my coffee in the description below. Don't know what the next week will bring, maybe another short game, maybe a new installment of the Pathologic journey, who knows, until then, see you!